Hardcore Co-op. My friends and I are trying to beat Terraria without any of us dying a single time. If any of us die, then we all need to create new characters and start again. We've been trying to beat this challenge for a while now, and it's pretty hard to say the least, so follow along as we try to beat Terraria in one of the hardest, most masochistic ways possible. Why? Oh, God. Ah, I hold it. Yeah, cook a nice seafood dinner. Alright, open it up. What the f? Right, Y'all go down there, take it from the Living leaf, living wood. Tree. It's not a living leaf wand. Living wood wand, a living leaf wand. Wood wand, leaf wand. <laughs> okay, dash. Shane food, the dash. Go out of the house, please. Burger! I'm gonna get a burger, oh, mate! I see how that You're sad as a bitch. Again! Again! So in the last episode, we made a death counter. We revealed a new part of our plan called the boss rush. We had a run where we made a lot of progress. And at this point, those characters in that run, they're still alive and healthy. So in this episode, what we're going to do is we're going to continue that run and explain the next parts of our plan. And I'm also going to show you some, uh, okay, so th there's some stuff that I didn't include in the last episode that I, I, I've, I've gotten a few comments about it. Not heaps, but some. And that is this. I'm very afraid for all your sanity and friendships, but I'm also very invested and I can't wait to see how this goes. It's lovely you all still have so much fun after dying so much. <laughs> <laughs> Great vid as always. The biggest enemies in this entire playthrough is your friend's love for grenades. Does anybody ever use these? <laughs> True. Thanks for the visit. <laughs> Great vid. Yeah, thanks for the visit. <laughs> I can't do it. I can't. If I click this, yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Thanks for the visit, man. <laughs> I think keeping friends will be harder than Moon Lord. Loving the videos, by the way. You guys need a punishment for Jacob for every time Jacob dies. That man is a menace! LOL! And then this guy says, The hardest part about this challenge is not losing friendships. And I mean, if you have a look at the, the likes on this comment, uh, apparently a lot of people agree with this guy. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, dude, the hardest part about the challenge, losing friendships? Yeah, yeah, oh, dude, that's definitely, that's the hardest, that's the definitely the hardest bit. <laughs> don't, oh, don't even get me started. <laughs> but so yeah, now th this is a funny point though, because I mean, we've had our moments, right? We where we started bickering and getting really petty with each other. No! Where did it come from? I mean, we are having good fun, like, don't get me wrong there. But wait, it's maybe it's the, the f***ing platforms. Maybe we don't do the platforms anymore. But like, look, challenges like this, where you need to rely on your teammates and they just die. You'll immediately die because it's a boulder. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, well, Jacob died to a boulder. Hey! <laughs> and you have to start over. Like that will that will start to divide a, fr a group of friends. Like it's all good when you know if someone dies, you know everyone's like, ah, damn. <laughs> I guess we'll start again. But it, it will turn into something more grim. It'll turn into like you know someone dies, and then the response you get is, dude, do you realize what I got? Do you know how much effort I just put in? You just took that away from me! So yeah, you all might think, Oh, these challenges are that hard. I can do it with my eyes closed. Hardcore color. Blah, blah. Look, anyone can hit restart a thousand times if they're having enough fun with it, right? The hard part comes when people start arguing. You know what I had? No, no, you uh, know what? I, I, don't, I don't know. No, no, no. Because if, if people argue and they stop having fun, then they'll get sick of your sh and they'll quit. And if people quit, then it's over. It's called hardcore co-op, right? You need a team. If you don't have the... The, the, uh, the, co the, if you don't, if you don't have people, if, if they quit, if, if your teammates quit, then it's, then that's it. And so what I want to show you is in the last episode, there were some moments which I didn't include because it was just us getting angry at each other. Nobody quit, but like some, some behind the scenes stuff of us getting angry. Some of it's the same stuff. And I, so I'm not going to be counting any deaths or anything for the death counter, but just, but just watch. And then later on, you'll, you'll understand what I mean. What the f*** is this house though? <laughs> What's going on? What's the plan? The plan is let's f***ing go. I understand. I'm not improving it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I am building a government mandated temporary housing. Hey, can you uh, leave the house for a second, dude? I want demolitionists to teleport. I don't think they teleport during night. They teleport at night, so they can get back to the house. Please exit the house. They attached it so that they teleport even when people are there, by the way. Exit the house, like leave. <laughs> no, I'm saying they will teleport even while we're at the house. No, they won't, I don't think. They won't, please, please leave so I can get- yeah, hold on. Emo. They teleport during the day. No, they teleport during the night so they can be in their house because there's programs go to their house at night. Wait, maybe I, 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 I might be thinking about it backwards actually. Yes, you are. Go out of the house, please. 
Oh yeah, there he is. <laughs> yep, <Okay>. see? <laughs> Fear enough. I thought it was the other way around. I know my NPC behaviors. I have grenades now. I want to shout. Look out! Maybe I should stop using grenades, eh? Uh, yeah, think so. <laughs> okay, here we go. The corruption is straight to the left. Good, let's rush houses. As long as it's not as ugly as the last one. Easy and fast, let's go that. No, no, you have to make it nice. The reason you died to a grenade last time, Matt, was because you weren't invested enough in the house. It's grenades, it's the grenades that give me the will to live. Nah, it's just... I love destroying. Why would I build Still a house? Still, make it out of Hellstone. Yes! That's a great idea. I'll save my butt and run, by the way. <laughs> if I hear about the world, Taint it a bit. I like cleansing. <laughs> I mean, if you are willing to go and make like a wall of wood to stop the corruption from spreading, I prefer the bomb trench. Okay, I may have made a mistake. This might be the end. Oh, come on. What are you doing? Nah, nah. Uh, <laughs> run to the right. We could make our spawn house there. Oh, this is the end. Something come back home something. now. You come back. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I have grenades. I am seconds away from building a shack somewhere because I want the merchant. Get away from there! Get the f away from there! <laughs> I'm really tense house building. Don't you dare die! <laughs> you! For f sake. <laughs> You're building the house next, Jacob, you motherfucker! <laughs> How did you even die? He jumped into the, he jumped, he got cocky and fought a zombie. It was the same thing where I drank a potion and before. Oh no, you got potion. cocky and fought a zombie. <laughs> Don't go outside with a zombies! Biodegradable. Damn, you said I'm big trees, man. Holy crap. Are you sure you don't want to build the house? <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> I'm I'm just not gonna do it. What? You're making the new one. Get me a living leaf wand. A living wood wand, and I'll make you a house. Promise? Pinky promise. <laughs> Some stone would be pretty cool too. I've got a radar, let's go. That's radar. not a living leaf wand. Alright, y'all know what time it is. Grenades! Just you know. Don't use the grenades when the guy's right in front of you. Smile. <laughs> so, how are you going with finding me that living wood wand and living leaf wand? I hear some f***ing munching. Can't help but notice some goat I didn't even- Eater of souls and a worm just come at me. And like, the background isn't even corruption yet. You went- you went right, huh? Yeah. Oh, I know why. It's because the underground corruption stick like goes like really far. Oh, that's it. <laughs> f dude. <laughs> anyway. Anyway. Yeah, dude, Jacob, you know what? You know what? You know what I had? I don't. No, no, no. You I, know what? I, I don't. I don't know. No, no, no. I you know had, what? I don't know. I had a, you know, a stop theory. I literally. You know what I know that you have? I know yeah. that you have a copper short sword, a copper pickaxe, and a copper axe. Um, and that's actually the same thing I have. Yep, that's what I've got. That's what I've got now. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what I've got you... now. Okay, so just for context, right? All of these attempts were recorded on the same day. Now, the reason that's important is because it just goes downhill from here. Each death just makes every Everything worse. Right, I'm ready with a new character. Wow. Well, I guess I don't have to worry about staying still, considering that that's not my name. <laughs> and Jacob still won't shut up about that living wood wand. Same rules. Same rules as last time. Get me that fucking wood wand and leaf wand, and I'm gonna make you a house. Get away! <laughs> you, why the f are you? <laughs> Just whatever you do, don't involve me with it, okay? Ooh, hey, dude, I got a living with one. Two, two out of one out of two. Okay, so there's a point here where suddenly a flick just got switched on. Did I just say a flick just got switched on? Is that even English? I don't know if that's English. Eh, whatever. A flick just got switched on, and everyone starts working as a team. Like, just yeah, we're all yeah, we're all friends now. Yeah. Well, tell you what. Here is two fallen stars. Go crazy. Damn, that's crazy. I mean, you said, you said go you crazy. You said go crazy. <laughs> yeah, and I, and you, you did good. But yeah, so check this out, right? They just start like, I think, they, I think they're digging a hole. They're digging a hole. And they're just, you know, having a great time. And I, wait, wait for him to walk away. Yes. Jump. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> okay, now breathe. <laughs> and then I died. There's Blinker to the left. I'm dead. I'm f***ing dead! <laughs> <laughs>
perfect timing, right? It's great, great timing. Right. You know, I know what the issue is. We're, 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 we're trying to go... We're trying to skip... Do and so, yeah, no, that that's what the problem was the whole time. It was... Wait, wait, what was it? We're trying to skip... Yeah, it was... It, <laughs> what did he say? We're, we're, we're trying to go. We're trying to skip. We do progressions here. Yeah. So that's the, what. That's what the problem was the whole time. All right. So look, we've been arguing back and forth for like eight minutes, and like eight minutes. That's a lot of. That's a lot of arguing for you know one sitting. Like eight minutes. Eight minutes. Jeez. All right. I have good news. Audio should be good now. Audio should be good. Jacob. Da da. Uh, has, are we already? Is it good? Um. Ready to kick it off. Ready to absolutely fucking smash this game without even dying one time. Are you talking like this because you're recording? Yes. <laughs> well, at the same time, I got we gotta we gotta pump each other up, right? Oh right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, come on. So yeah, like, it's a new day. All the arguing and stuff is behind us at this point. I got a living wood wand. Give me a living leaf wand and I'll make you a house. <laughs> <laughs> well, most of it. <laughs> really? Okay, so yeah. I think that'll give you a good enough idea of, like, the arguing and whatnot that goes on behind the scenes. <laughs> Originally, I figured I wouldn't really show the arguing stuff because, I, I mean, honestly, I didn't think that it mattered that much. <laughs> but, but, like, once you've played this a good handful of times, it becomes quite apparent that one of the hardest things about this challenge is the toll that it takes on you. And yeah, that doesn't just happen after one try. It slowly builds over time. So like, keep all of this in mind for later because yeah, this, this will be on the test, all right? If you don't get 100%, you fail. But look, hey, for now, we're gonna stop showing old footage, right? We're just gonna move on and what we're gonna do, I'm gonna start showing you the stuff you wanna be seeing right now. The new stuff. The juicy stuff. I'm gonna show you where we left off last episode. Now, if you haven't seen it, I'll, I'll give you a real quick recap of the run so far. We've been through early game, we've all gotten max health, we've all either got gold or tungsten armor, we filled our accessory slots with good stuff, we all got gun, and the most important thing about last episode is that we killed the Eye of Cthulhu on a f***ing minecart. And it was the easiest shit ever, it was great. And this right here is where we left off. We killed the- we killed the Eye of Cthulhu? <laughs> and then, I'm just gonna- you guys can- yeah, go. Yeah. You know what I'm gonna do? Look, you know what? I'm just gonna- it's gonna- it's gonna just play itself. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you the thing, it'll play itself out. <laughs> so like, after we killed the Eye of Cthulhu, I mean, look, I'll just, you could just, look, after, <laughs> I, I, after, after that, I'll just let you play, I, I mean, I'll, I'll, play, I'll play it later, you can, I'll, I'll play it for you, you can watch. <laughs> hey, f*** yeah, do that with, oh my god, the mic cut, no, this is the easiest f***ing shit ever. We got a trophy, trophy, yeah, dude. <laughs> Bam! Let's go. Alright. That's it, but you wanna do it again? <laughs> do you? Yeah, yeah. Actually, again. Again. Let's, yeah, let's do All it. Alright, hop back on, on the minecart, boy. Alright, let's go. Start moving. Go, go, to the, go, the, go to the red. Go to the red. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. 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 let Whoa! Yeah, we got close. Hey! Yeah, that's what going on. Yo, I got 80. I'm just <laughs> Again! Again! I still got my belt. Oh, dude, do it again. Money! Hang on, wait, I gotta get that fucking item out of the thing. One more time. Oh, it's on the right, oh, it's on the right. Oh. Interesting right. choice. I took but... one damage. <laughs> A little bit overkill. Oh my god. That's all you can Where is he? He's right. like way behind. I despawned! Wow. Oh, it's too fast. <laughs> Alright, everyone on? All aboard! Okay. Right. Drive past. Oh Drive my fast. god. Ow. <laughs> oh, the damage. Alright, we can do it one more time, right? One more? One more time. All aboard! All aboard! I just love this image. Like a bunch of dudes in minecarts firing machine guns at a giant eye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of bullets. You good, bro? You out of bullets? Oh, I'm getting it. Guys. <laughs> boomerang, come back to me. Dude, the boomerang just sits there on top of him. Oh, look at this! <sighs> This is f***ing so good! Oh, he's, he's outrunning the ring. Oh, wait. Oh, we got, we got bounced! Good job! 
Oh yeah, yeah. good shit, guys. Good yeah. Shit. yeah, I, I left bread on floors, guys. Oh, look at all that gold. I was mm. no gold. Ah, oh, gotta love that on a dime turning. Oh yeah, the dashing. Oh my god, the dashing. It's gonna be so good. Dashing through the dash. In one horse open dash. Dash, 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 dash. Dash, 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 dash. <laughs> Alright, so worm now, yeah? Um. We can do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, if you're not too familiar with this game, like my mom is, for example, you might have heard that and thought, well, hang on, did he just say worm? He did just say worm, right? I, did, I didn't just hear that. that no, he, he definitely did. He said worm. He did say worm. He did? He did. Oh, what the heck? What's the deal with that? <laughs> worm? <laughs> what the hell? And yeah, I, I did say worm. <laughs> but that's because it, that's because the next part of our plan involves a worm, all right? But this is a very special worm, okay? So let, let me explain. Our plan up to this point is all about us getting prepared for where we are right now, the boss rush. In the boss rush phase, we will need to fight a handful of special enemies, which all give us access to new things which can help us get through the game. Like this shield, for example. But one of these bosses gives us something that we literally can't progress the game without. And also just as a side note, this worm probably has one of the most intimidating names of any of the bosses in this game. The next boss we're gonna be fighting is the Eater of Worlds. Now let me explain a bit about this guy. This boss is very different to the Eye of Cthulhu. It doesn't actually have multiple phases, but instead it has some very interesting mechanics which can make it incredibly hard to defeat if you're not careful. But first, we're gonna point out the obvious thing here. This dude is bloody massive. Just to give you an idea of how big this guy is, he can fly out of the ground and trap you in a dome made out of its own body. Now if that wasn't bad enough, it also shoots this Garfield goot at you, which is a huge pain because it deals 96 base damage. And not only does it do a shitload of damage, but they also have a 1 in 20 chance to inflict the weak debuff, which saps your defense, movement speed, and damage you deal for 10, 12 and a half whole minutes. All the segments of the boss's body have the ability to shoot these little guppy goops at you. Now, the last and final thing about this boss that you're going to notice is that it has a lot of health bars. If you destroy one of the parts of the body, it will split in two, leaving you with two smaller bosses. Just imagine two giant worms trying to ram you and trap you while shooting balls of goop at you that might sap your strength. And then next thing you know, you've got four worms and then eight. I mean, I kind of get, I, I mean, I doubt it would get much worse than that, but like it can get messy. <laughs> So with all of that said, how do we beat this guy? Now this boss is made up of segments with their own health bars. If we have the right weapons, we can take advantage of this big time. If we get weapons that hit multiple targets, then we can deal a lot of damage to this boss. Now the people who made this game, they knew that this was a weakness for this boss. So they made it so grenades deal 90% less damage. Which, I mean, I mean that kind of sucks for Matt. <laughs> so our new plan is we're gonna use gun. Specifically, we're gonna use the mini shark. But I mean, as you probably know, the mini shark doesn't hit multiple targets so if we use it we're not going to be able to take advantage of its weakness but that's kind of stupid right why would we want to fight the boss with a weapon which doesn't take advantage of its weakness there's a reason for this and it's because it's really good at something else remember those little guppy gooks right those little guppy gooks they are probably the worst thing to deal with in this fight but they can be destroyed in mid-air if you swing a weapon or if you shoot a gun the bullets can destroy them so our plan is to sit up on a platform in the sky shoot down all the guppy Gook out of the air and rain down bullets from above where we are completely safe. It's a completely flawless plan, all right? And nothing can go wrong. And all we need to do is just set up a platform and we're in business. Dude, Wouldn't I say is... a better way to do the worm would be uh, make like a row of platforms above the corruption and then make the summon item and fight it on the surface? Yeah, that's it. That is the best way. All right, can I teleport to you, crying face? Yeah. All right, here I come. <laughs> so, uh, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Ancient crimson, uh, ancient no, not crimson. That's not a thing. Ancient corrupted corruption armor. Oh, should we farm for the ancient corrupted armor? Uh, we could, but it is a one in five hundred. <gasps> no way, we got a helmet. It's just had a helmet. Ooh. Ooh. All right, so are you happy with this? Yeah, I'm happy with this. I thought you were a mob for a second. <laughs> burger. I say it the real classic Australian way. I feel like I say burger too much. Burger. Burger. Ham bow bow. Burger. 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 Gotta get a burger, mate. Bow bow. I love burgers. I love burgers. Oh, shit. I could go with a burger right now. It'll upset my tummy. Hi. Just fucking using the level. Okay, this one. Burger. <laughs> you missed. 
<laughs> you missed. <laughs> Doing this so if anyone falls off, or specifically you, if you fall off, you don't just die. Thank you, I appreciate it. <laughs> Actually, we have more grab potions. It might be worth it going to see if we can find another horseshoe. You reckon? Yeah, just like your look. Yep. Okay. Start from where I am, basically. Where I am. Alright, cool. Found my... Let's see, what we got? We got a... Oh! Dude, sexy. Warding shiny red for me. Alright, I've got my buff potions ready. <gasps> Ancient shadow grease. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, dude, there's two pieces. There's two pieces. I'm gonna pass it to Greaves. Okay. Uh, but I've got way more defense than you guys. Do, 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 you, do you want it? Instead? Chapel. Give it to Matt. I, I can take the gold armor. You can have this. Alright. Have that and have that. It'll probably be better by like one defense, I think. It actually is better than 5 1. But if we get one more piece. Alright. Summon him. Are we ready? Are we ready? I have drank my buffs. I've drank my buffs. Let's go. Buh. Alright, good luck, boys. On the left, on the left. Watch out for the bullets. It shoots. I've set him on fire. <laughs> oh, I hate the dude, the fing <laughs> Oh, ancient shadow scanway. Oh my god, hey. give it to Matt, give it to Matt. Put it on, put it on. Yeah, okay, I've got, full shadow, I've got full shadow scale on her. It gave me increased move speed and I've got crit chance. Okay, so far everything's going well. Matt managed to get his full set of Ancient Shadow Armor at the last second. We're all sitting at comfortable amounts of health, and we've dealt nearly 20,000 damage already. Right now, we're pretty confident, but the worst part of this fight is just around the corner. When we start taking out parts of the body, we'll need to deal with multiple worms. And if the boss manages to get just a few too many hits on just one of us, it is all over. Okay, Moose Dark's actually just big. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I just got stuck underneath it. Yeah, it is. Well, it's well, it's well. Oh, we split it. We split it. Yeah. Oh my god. That's <laughs> instantly. Okay, we're making. Ooh! Oh. Here it is. This is the most important part of the fight. The moment everything is gonna start splitting. Right now, it is make it or break. One more 400 health, dude. Two bosses down. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good. Worm dude. scarf, man. Oh, the worm scarf is gonna be huge. I didn't even think about that. We have enough for another one, or no? Uh, I'm I, not I, doing I, that. I, I don't want to do it again. And with that, we've taken down two bosses now. Two bosses. <laughs> Without anyone dying. The eater of ones doesn't have fucking shit on us, dude. We are unstoppable. But yeah, okay. So we can't celebrate too much just yet because we are right about to go and do something pretty stupid. <laughs> now, this 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 stupid thing we did. Uh, remember that plan? The, the the action plan. You know the the plan. Uh, so we just killed the worm, right? That's the worm right there. Put him in his nice little nice little spot right there. Uh, now, the rest of the bosses in this part of the plan, they give us really useful stuff, right? Some of which we'll end up using for, like, the rest of the game. I mean, you know, if we get... If we... <laughs> Very useful stuff, whatever. We could go and get all of that useful stuff and, like, you know, beat the bosses, but there's only one boss on this list that we actually need to beat, and that's the worm. And so, guess what we did? Start digging. Instead of uh, finishing up with the boss rush here and uh, getting ourselves properly equipped, uh, we just skipped it and went into the oh, next phase. <laughs> Um, which I've named Hell. <laughs> great name, I think. I think it's a great name. Uh, anyways, before I go to Hell, for your sake, I'm, I'm just going to real quick explain why we skipped the bosses, okay? So the main reason why we skipped it is because uh, we're stupid. <laughs> okay, no. Uh, okay, no. Seriously. To explain that, first, let me explain what the worm gives us. The worm gives us two really big things. First thing is the worm scarf. It's a super useful accessory, which gives us 17% damage reduction. Also, because it's an accessory, it can also have the warding modifier, giving it an extra four defense as well which is honestly it's amazing like when you're playing hardcore it just like stopping that much damage it's it, oh. <laughs> it's so good it's so good 
Um, but the item that we're really after, right, the most important thing, right, are these things called shadow scales. Now, the shadow scales are a crafting material, which you can use to craft, like, heaps of stuff with dynamite, with, not dynamite, <laughs> demonite. <laughs> uh, like, you can get a better set of armor. Let me, I wanna craft. What the f*** is this move speed? Are you shitting me? This is insane. I'm standing still. Jump. That, w that was from standing still. That fucking speed. <laughs> you get weapons, tools, but most importantly, the nightmare pickaxe. This, this is the item that we need. This pickaxe is the only pickaxe that we can access, which lets us mine hellstone. And you can probably tell where I'm going with this. Kill the babies. War crimes, baby. Murder. We skipped the rest of our plan because once you have this pickaxe, you can just go to the next phase and get hellstone. And so, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> don't worry. We're going to encounter all the rest of the other bosses that we skipped. Like, we'll get there later and I'll explain them when we get to it. But um, for now, uh, yeah, I guess, um, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, uh, enjoy. <laughs> who wants to, who wants to, who wants pet worm? Uh, wait, what does it look like? Pet worm. Who wants? Yo, that's look pretty lit. Alright, I'll have it. Love it. That's look pretty lit. Yo, nightmare pickaxe. Let's make the nightmare pick. What the f is this move speed? Are you shitting me? This is insane. That's crazy. I love that. What the f? What? The move speed it gives you is incredible. It, it's insane. Alright, I kind of want to go to hell. Let us do it. Let uh, us uh, do uh, it. Oh, look at that. Look at the trophies. Gotta love it. Right, come on. Dig in time. What are we doing? Dig into hell. Alright. Is there rope in the hole? Nope. No. I'll, I'll get rope. I'll get rope. Oh, never mind. I actually have a rip. Wait, chill, chill, chill. No. Okay. <laughs> Chest room. That's thoroughly meh. Who wants a magic mirror? Start digging. Oh, a web stylus. She should be this way, right? She's down there! Alrighty, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Alrighty, that, you sons of bitches. You guys need help? Hang on. Here I come. Yeah, yeah, get the oh, rip good. going, get the rip going. Alright, open it up. They should be able to Yo, was that a fried egg? That's a fried egg! Oh my god. Where's the stylist? Right, wait, she dead? She? No, 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 it might be... Oh, wait. No, not here anymore? Is the web stylist still nearby? No. Oh, oh well. Uh, no more web stylist. Sad. I fucking love it, dude. I fucking love it. Gun. I really just want Cobweb. to... Cobweb! <gasps> wait, 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 there, 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 there! Web stylus, on the wall. Oh! Go! Go there! Woo! Mr. Success! She lives! Oh! Uh. <laughs> Kill the babies! War crimes, baby! Murder! Burger! Burger! There, go. <laughs> My nose stuffy. <laughs> yeah, we'll <laughs> oh no, slimes. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah. No, wait, wait. We're gonna, we're gonna. Oh, hang on. Wait. We need that rope. We need that rope. Go. <laughs> Keep digging, keep digging. Nice. <laughs> There's lava, watch out. Um, wait. We can get sink out. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Wait, it's gonna go back around. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. wait. Yeah. Oh, what a ballsy move. There we go. Soul. Oh, f Oh, sh brought out. Can, can it fit in the hole? Oh, we can. A me right now. Um, oh, hey. Oh, ah. Uh, um, he. Oh, hey. What are we going to do about this? Um. No. No. Oh, f. Okay, well, we'll make do. Just need to get one there. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. 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 All right, let's get digging. <laughs> Oh, we're very close to the fucking thing. Oh my god. Okay, look, I feel. I, look, just bomb, bomb, just bomb. Yeah, through. let's just go through. Oh yeah, it's flowing. Just give it a moment. Oh my god. 
Or we're almost from hell. Are we through? I see hell. Get ready. Get your teleports ready. No, I intend to stay here. I intend to. I... Get your teleports f***ing ready. Uh oh. Don't let that mob f***ing touch you. Do not let that mob f***ing touch you. Right. Yeah, okay. Buddy system, everyone. Nobody spits up. Yeah, I, I just want to. We need a health forge and a little bit of health stone. That's it. Demon, demon, demon. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Kill it. <laughs> bat on the left, bat. Dude, we do not do enough damage. Okay, wait, wait. I'm gonna... Start a bridge, start a bridge. Just go... <gasps> okay, okay. I'm unequipping the f***ing shield. <laughs> okay, I got the Hellforge. I'm gonna go mining Hellstone. Oh nice. god, dude. Worm! Worm! 68. Just mine Hellstone. Just focus on what we came here for. Don't f*** around. What are you doing over there? Come here. Hang on, hang on. I'm, I'm, I was scouting. Buddy for... system, you don't go nowhere alone. Don't f*** around the mob, get inside. We don't f*** around here, we get what we came for and nothing else. Can we get obsidian potions? Hang on, I will be right back. I will be right back. If you're teleporting down here and you accidentally click on my head, <laughs> you'll die. Make sure you have the uh, obsidian skin activated. Uh, I'm gonna make sure I teleport to you. Drink the potions, get down here, boys. Okay, we mine as much hellstone as we can. <laughs> yeah, this is nice. This is f***ing progress. We've not died once. We're in hell getting hellstone. <laughs> Keep an eye on your potions. I've got two minutes left. I got four. Yeah, keep an eye on it anyway. Just casual reminder. Don't forget. Okay, I'm out. Uh, one, one, one. Ah! Hey! Okay. Hey, uh, once your uh, obby skin potion goes down to like the second. I'm, I'm leaving. Yeah, I got. Yeah. Gee, I'm got my second right teleport potion. Here we go. I'm in the underground desert. <laughs> Cactus. I killed you there last time. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> anyway, coming home because I'm not safe here. So that went surprisingly well. Uh, I mean, honestly though, I didn't think we were going to live through that. But, but hey, I'll take it. I, <laughs> I'll take it. Anyways, we ended up with quite a lot of hellstone in our pockets. <laughs> Ooh, 154 bars. Let's go. And just to name a few things that we made, uh, we got an imp staff, which summons a little demon fella who sets things on fire. He's, he's pretty sick. Yes. Yes. Now we're going. Oh, lava proof bug net. Uh, we got a sick ass bug net which can auto swing. Unlike this piece of shit, we made molten armor. Which, uh, fun fact, this armor set has the highest defense of any set, any armor set at this point in the game. So this is good stuff. All right, this is good stuff. I also made a ham axe, but that's not all that cool. It's just a hammer and an axe in one item. But I'm um, gonna get a molten ham axe. So the ham axe. Once we made our new stuff, though, Jacob wanted a couple things from the underground jungle. And the underground jungle is very dangerous. <laughs> Anyways, I think at the time he didn't actually say what he wanted. He just, <laughs> I don't know, we just went along with it anyway. Um, so we went to the underground jungle, killed some stuff, got some materials, and um, oh, oh, and I got a cool hat. I got a cool hat. <laughs> got oh, gladiator him. It's a really cool ad. Like, I think it's pretty cool. Well, I mean, I don't know. I like, I like it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Anyways, um, but after a little while, um, we saw something pop up in the chat. We, we saw this. Oh. If you don't know what this means, this is an interesting little bit of text because, well, I mean, it means exactly what it says. Like, it means we have an army of goblins approaching from the east, which sounds great. <laughs> but more specifically, this means we need to go back to our base as soon as we can because there's an invasion on the way. And um, if you're not ready for these guys when they show up, they could be a real pain in the ass. Oh. 
There are different kinds of goblins in this event, which all do unique things to their heart's content. There are fast ones, there are small ones, there's big and tanky ones, there's ranged ones with boats that shoot arrows, or who knows, and there's ones which bloody teleport and shoot magic balls through walls. Now to conquer this event, we must reach 100%, but before we achieve such a feat, we must first assure that we won't be beat. But to us, these goblins have no catch, because there's something we have that they could not match. Now that we possess Hellstone with underworldly power, yeah. our enemies will have to run home with Elphiris and Cower. Because due to the goblins arriving late, we were able to secure our safety and avoid a doomed fate. However, if they would have turned up on time, we might not have been so fine. Something I must confess about the power we now possess, were it not for our risky behavior and our spelunking endeavor, they could send us to meet the devil to do his little dance, because what I'm saying is, these goblins would have had a chance. Oh, it's already here. Oh, I... oh shit. You're ready. Oh, make some food as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, this Dude, is actually we... working fantastic. Dude, go on me and <gasps> <laughs> hey. Alright, let's fight. Now, believe it or not, these guys are one of the things that we skipped from the boss rush phase. Well, I mean, look, I don't know if you can say we skipped it, because, look, they were they were late oh. as f Like, what do you want us to do, alright? Like, well, you, we skipped it. Doesn't matter. Usually, they'll turn up way earlier. The thing that triggers this event is breaking a shadow orb. Shadow orbs, by the way, are those little orb things in the corruption which give us gun. And the, the way it works is after you break one, every in-game morning, they have a one in three chance to invade. And this is just an estimate, but I think they took like 12 to 15 mornings before they invaded which is what the f yeah look they should have turned up they should have turned up way earlier now here's something funny about this though because they were late we managed to get hellstone before they turned up and uh yeah no because we had hellstone we kind of kind of stomped. The flat surface helped as well. That That's always a nice thing with goblins. Now, once you beat these cheeky f**ks, a special little fella can now randomly spawn underground. I'm just gonna go up and down the rope until he pops up. <laughs> oh, oh, he's here. I know, right? It sounds too good to be true. Like, don't you just wish that that would happen in real life? That makes no sense. That makes, that makes no sense. <laughs> what the f*** am I saying? Oh yeah, cause like, in real life, when I kill lots and lots of goblins, uh, I hope that some small man appears in some cave underground. At random. <laughs> it doesn't make any f***ing sense. Alright, so look, look, we're gonna get back on track, back on track. This special little fella that we're after, I like to call the Tinkler. Oh, there, 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 he's in the house! Hello, fella. Now the Goblin Tinkler, he really is a special fella. Like, I sh you not, this dude sells rocket boots. All right, like, dude, are right, you ready? And look at that, look at that. Yeah. How sick is that? Like, but other than that, right, that's actually not the, the cool thing. He also sells us a really useful crafting station. Crafting station, dude, holy crap. This table though is nuts. Some of the biggest crafting recipes in the whole game use this table. Look, I'll just show you one. This is the shell phone. This thing t needs like 16 different items to craft. Some of the items you need to find them. Some of them need to be bought from NPCs. Some of them are crafted, but like you combine all of them together using this table. You legit fit 16 different items into one item. Like, it's nuts. And that's not even the biggest thing that you can make with this table. <laughs> and another thing he does, which is also used for the rest of the game, if you give him money... Yo, so I was just, I was just editing this, and I've just noticed there's a, there's a whoopee cushion right there. Just fell down the hole. No one noticed that. Uh, yep. If you give him money, he can re-roll your item modifiers on your gear. So basically, if we get ourselves enough money, we can make all of our accessories warding now, which would just give us an extra... I don't know off the top of my head. What, 20, 24 defense? Much cheaper. Mythical. Oh. Warding. Ooh. Also, by the way, that is usually something that we would do before we go to hell. But whatever, you know, we were fine. Uh, and also, yeah, no, it takes a, it takes a lot of money. <laughs> Mini shot costs seventeen gold to reforge, bruh. <laughs> mm. Warding, armored, warding, warding, armored, and then this one's guarding, like warding. Uh... Warding, oh, yeah. Oh wait, wait, we gotta buy we gotta buy the table. I have no more money. <laughs> so after we spent some time re-rolling the mods on our gear and you know going bankrupt, we got off for the day. But look, okay, okay so now I've I've done you a bit dirty. <laughs> because I've left you with a bunch of unanswered questions at this point. Like, you know, why did Matt almost quit? You told me that the arguing from earlier was gonna be to important to later. Like Say bye bye to run, by the way. <laughs> I haven't seen any argument. Like, what's up with that? Why am I why am I talking to you right now? Did something go wrong? 
did someone die and reset the run? Can I see it? Can, can you please can you please show me? Can, can you show me the part where someone died and then and then made you lose all of your hard-earned progress? Look, I'm going to I'm going to try and answer all these questions. I'm going to try and answer all these questions right now, okay? Now, I have some good news and I have some bad news. There, there is a bit to unpack here. You know, I'll start with some good news, all right? At this point, like in between recordings, I bought myself a new computer. It's it look, this computer can work wonders. It can record Terraria at 4K res, 60 FPS, absolutely no issues, right? It's amazing. This computer should mean that all the footage you see from now on should look like this. <laughs> Right, nice, crispy, clean, and none of this crap. I've got a jungle turtle. I've got a fucking jungle turtle. Hell yeah, turtle time. Right, none of this. Like this. Like what? Can you? I, you can't tell how much money I have. Like what number is that? It's a two, isn't it? Wrong. Actually, it's a three. Maybe you thought it was a three. I, th I thought it was a two. Look, but anyways, bad news. The bad news is, with this new computer, when I set up OBS for the first time, my recording software, I, m I messed up the settings pretty bad. And I got a recording that looks like this. <coughs> oh my god. Now, at first, you know, it looks okay. But there's a thing I want you to pay attention to. I want you to have a look at the frame rate. Yeah. So the frame rate on this recording gets worse and worse as time goes on. And like, I'm not kidding, later on it gets so bad that it plays at one frame every 45 seconds, which is just, it's ridiculous, right? And like the file itself, check this out. So first of all, I can't use this recording in DaVinci. It won't let me put the file into DaVinci Resolve. The reason I can show you this right now is I had to use OBS to record the screen, the, the player, and then use that footage in here. Like if you have a look at this, I can't skip forward. I can't skip back. I can't, I can't press any of these buttons. All I can do is press and play and pause. And the file itself doesn't even know when the recording ends. It doesn't know how long it goes for. It's it, like, it's super, it's really cursed. <laughs> it's so cursed. Now, the really unfortunate thing with this recording is that of all the times that this could have happened, unfortunately, I died. And it, it really hurts my, it hurts to say this, but the thing that killed me was fall damage. Yeah. I mean, look, it is what it is. Look. Now, another thing I should answer is why Matt almost quit. After this run, we had a bit of a break, right? It was about a week or so. But when we got back, we were all confident. And we started getting some more attempts. And right? we were ready to get back to where we were in the last run. But we started dying to, like, really simple stuff again. Like, boulders. Oh, my God. Dart traps, slimes, vultures. You know the drill. What we were seeing was we weren't getting anywhere close to where we were in the corrupted run. And this is where we first noticed that Matt took a turn for the worse. Slowly, after each of our runs, he would just get a little more frustrated each time. Hey! <laughs> <sighs> Dude, come on. Okay, okay. Get off the. Get off the ah! I, I tried to go for my recall, which was on nine. <laughs> I was looking for nine, I lost track of it. Hey, it's me, the ghost. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, guys! The good house and everything. Hell, <laughs> I really liked this one. It was underground. I found like no plan. Oh, I... oh okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> okay. I got trapped in between my bombs. Hey, let's get. <gasps> yes! uh, why? Jacob's off doing dishes. F***ing hell. God damn it. At this point, Jacob and I thought that it is almost for sure that any day now Matt was going to quit. Tip. He was just going to be done. He was going to stop playing. You know, this is challenges for him kind of thing. Jacob's off doing dishes. F***ing hell. Like that, we, we thought it was going to be a matter of days. Like any moment. But what happened was this. Looking oh. good there. Oh yeah, looking good, brother. Every time me and Jacob played, we would still reach out to Matt and be like, "Hey, do you want to do you want to join in? Like, do you want to keep playing?" And he'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, sure." Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! Hey, how are we? Oh, that's penis. Kinda... Hey, whoa! I'm pretty sure he just said penis. Can we get an instant replay on that? <laughs> like, you saw how frustrated he was getting, <laughs> but he just kept playing. And believe it or not, he still plays with us to this day. <laughs> oh, we're juggling him! Oh, damn. Like, this guy might be a little insane. Thick elevator. Thick elevator. Thick elevator. But holy shit, is he dedicated. <laughs> like, I have a strong feeling that the day that we beat this thing, 
because it's not an if, all right? We will beat it. The day that we beat it, I have a strong feeling that Matt is going to be there at the end. I feel like he is a solid teammate. That's He's not going anywhere. I'm pretty damn sure he's not going anywhere. Oh, I was that noise. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, well, that was fun. Also, I've still been keeping track of the deaths for the death counter, right? This thing. But I'm going to show these runs in a little more detail later, so I'm not going to update it just yet. You're not going to miss out on any juice, all right? Look, I, I got you. I got you covered. Now, there is something on here, though, that some of you have asked about in the comments. And it's this. The fourth slot. It's empty. What's the deal? Okay, so I noticed that a few people have been asking if they can join us in this challenge. And honestly, I'd love to get some of you guys in some of our runs or something. But here's the thing, right? This challenge gets exponentially harder with the more people that join. Bosses get more health and the more people that you have running around just means that there's more chances for someone to die and reset the run. So if you guys, look, if you really want to get a taste of this fucking train wreck that we call hardcore co-op, I'm thinking maybe I'll make a Discord or something where we can like host events and stuff. I don't know. Let me know what you guys reckon and I'll see if I can make that happen. But yeah, look, as for the empty space, there's actually a reason I put that empty space there. And it is because someone has already joined us. I just haven't got to it yet until now. <laughs> Nathan says, I've been bored as f recently. So if you guys die again, hit me up if you want. You just join now. Hey. Hey, what's up, man? So much. So, you want to come play hardcore, huh? <laughs> I think so. Oh. I think you got what it takes. Oh, f Ooh, oh my. <laughs> oh, f <laughs> <laughs> By the way, uh, if you die, we all reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We oh, okay. Oh, f hang on, I'm coming oh, back. I'm coming no. back. I'm back. Oh, I, I'm gonna die. <laughs> no! <laughs> At least it wasn't me. But yeah, look, here's the thing. I I'm going to have to show you the stuff that we got up to with Nathan in another episode. But, but one thing I will say is it was maybe just the right kind of thing to spice up our runs. All right, who wants to go to the corruption? Me. Through, through the corruption. That's what I like to hear. Jump worm, worm. Oh hell? my god, no, no, this is bad. This is really bad. Oh, <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> Nathan, you're looking kind of sexy, oh, old Guys, day. why are you running away again? But wait, what now? As of right now, Matt is still a part of our team and plays with us to this day. Like, as frustrated as he got in those runs, he wants to see this through. Like, he wants to keep trying. <laughs> But like, if you think about it, th this is kind of what hardcore is about, right? Like when you play games like this on hardcore, you're going to be making mistakes which take away everything that you've worked for. And, it, and it's gonna suck. But the whole idea is that you get back to it and you try again later. And what you find is each time you'll learn a bit more and you'll make it a little bit further. I mean, well, sometimes you won't make it further, but you know, look, whether that's because you did something risky or I don't know, maybe you just made a mistake. Even if you made just those simple mistakes, like you will eventually learn how to avoid those and you know, breeze past them in your future attempts. Like earlier when I realized that the footage of our run got corrupted, like that kind of sucked. Cause like now, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to show you what we managed to do. I can't show you the progress that we made. You know, the things that we built, where we were going, what we achieved. I, I straight up, I can't show you any of it. Like those files aren't something that I'm going to just get back. And just like playing hardcore, the characters that die, they aren't coming back either. But when you get sent back and you have to start from scratch, you actually get to take one thing with you. And that's experience. If you lose all your progress because of a mistake, then the next time you try, you now know not to make that same mistake again. But funnily enough, we actually encountered a problem with this. It's that if you ever get pretty far into the game, like how we made it to hell and back, after that run ended, our focus was now set on getting further than we got. We wanted to get further than hell. But when we set our focus on only getting further, we started getting careless and we started to forget the things that we learned on the way. We forgot the things which got us to hell in the first place. But that exact thing is something that I think makes hardcore really special. Because it forces you to learn every challenge and obstacle that the game can possibly throw at you. You need to know the early game stuff. You need to know the mid game and the late game. You need to master the entire thing 
if you're going to beat it. Because if you only focus on the future, then the things that are right in front of you are going to set you back. And if you only really focus on the things that are in front of you, then you are going to get caught off guard by the things that are yet to happen. Beating something on hardcore like this is an incredibly hard thing to do, and it takes patience, time, and even practice. And look, there are gonna be days where you are going to be set back because some bullshit enemy killed you in a video game. And it's gonna put you in such a shitty mood that you're gonna wanna quit. Here's the thing, yes, there is a lot of pain in losing the things that you worked for, but that should not stop you from trying again. Learn from what happened and start over. And the next time, you don't let it happen again, because that is what hardcore is about. It is about losing everything and trying again anyway. It's about gaining mastery through practice and dedication for something. And it's about all of those moments where you want to quit, but you don't. And all of the pain and the suffering that comes along with that, you don't let that get to you. Because at the end of the day, you're going to be getting sent back to the start over and over. And it is going to suck. And there's only two ways that this ends. You can either beat this thing. Or you can give up and you can stop trying.